welcome back to the Man United fans, and it is your Manchester United Christmas transfer daily on the Man United fans, stand. So, yes, Mesut Turtle to Manchester United. This is a very, very interesting one. Will Mesut Turtle join Manchester United? You know, he has been on quite good form recently at Arsenal, and would he be good to join Manchester United? In my opinion, I, I think he'll be a good player. I mean. Hopefully we can get some deals done in January. Oli Solskjaer could go on and get some deals done. He could sell a few players. I mean, I wouldn't recommend selling that much players. I mean, I would get signings in January, but I keep saying I wouldn't go too over the top, like getting about five signings. I don't believe Solskjaer will get five signings. I mean, look, to be honest with you, it's not really any point because, look, he's, he's not going to be here for long. He, he, he's going to be here for probably, you know, he's going to be here for the next five, six months. So, you know, there's there's no point. There, there's no point of going to over the top with Oli Solskjaer. I mean, you know, I didn't even want to go over the, to over the top in January, even when Jose Mourinho was at Manchester United. I mean, you know, that's just me. Don't go over the top in January. I don't think we'll get that much signings in January because if you look... We want to go with world-class players to come. The world-class players, they won't want to leave their club this early in the season. They're not going to want to leave. Um, I think, I mean, you know, they're obviously not going to want to leave midway through the season. I mean, you know, Lewandowski, I mean, I haven't heard anything about him, but I, I think he'll be quite good as Manchester United's right. He's not going to leave Bayern Munich in the middle of the season. But Mesut could. We snatched Alexis Sanchez from them, so there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to get Mes that there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to get Mesut I mean, you know, this is the second year in a row in the January transfer window where we've been linked with Mesut He's a centre striker. Would I sign Mesut at Manchester United? No, I wouldn't. I think there's other players out there that we should get. But he could be an option, though. He could be an option. I mean, you know what? Actually, you know what? I don't know. Should we get Mesut Ozil or should we not? Um, yeah, you guys say in the comment section down below, should we get Mesut Ozil? And yeah, yeah, should he join Manchester United? And do you think Holly Solskjaer would get Mesut Ozil? I think. Let's just... You know, let's go with a strike. I mean, you know, Solskjaer could bring a few youngsters up. Like, Greenwood, he's uh, like in the youth team. He's been playing very well for them. You could bring Chong up. He's a good player as well. I mean, you know, we've got quite a few strikers in the youth team who could be quite suited as Manchester United players. Solskjaer could try and build them up a bit. Um, I believe he... I, I, I believe he can. There's no reason why he can't go on and build up some of our players. So, I think that... Yeah, yeah, maybe, may, yeah, maybe we should just go for it and let's get Oli Sol. Uh, let's get Oli Sol to so go on and try and grab, um, you know, Mesutters or something like that. But or a striker. I think you know that we d definitely do need the striker. Uh, Harry Maguire. He he could be linked with Manchester United. I don't believe that you know we should get Harry Maguire. I I, I don't believe we should go for him. I think. If he was to go for Harry Maguire, I don't think Solskjaer would. I think it would have to be with a manager like Jose Mourinho. Like if Conte is next coming into Manchester United, Conte would be a manager that gets him. Because he's like Mourinho, he's all defensively. Uh, and if you look at Mourinho, he doesn't go with any world-class defenders. I mean, you know, Harry Maguire is a good defender. He's not what you would call world-class. He's probably, you know, the same rating is Eric Bailey or something. Out of their all to Manchester United, that could be an interesting one. Again, is he world class or is he not? Let, let's get some world class players. I mean, you know, there's Ryan Ran out there. I think he's a left back. He could be good for Manchester United, but PK as well, he's a left back. Look, PK is never going to be linked with Manchester United. PK is never coming. Ryan's never coming either, so... Yeah, yeah, we might have to figure that. Rakitic, that that could happen. Um, I mean, you know, there's lots of interesting ones that could come to Manchester United, but you know, they. I mean, I I, I think we need the striker and we need the defender. Uh, they're the they're, they're the two. I mean, our defender should be a centre back though. I think left back we got Luke Shaw. He's a youngster. Um, and then if he gets injured, we got you know the older one, Young. I think. 
if, if he wants to play anyone at right back, it's got to be Valencia or Dalot. Give Young a rest and, you know, obviously play Shaw left back. But I think, you know, leave Young. Dr drop Young because, you, you, you know, look, we don't need Young. Well, we really don't need Young. I don't know why he's even at Manchester United. But he's no crucial player, though, is he? He's he, he's no important player to Manchester United. So I wouldn't really go on and I wouldn't really get Ashley Young. Um, I think, you know, it, it, it's going to be really, really interesting to see what happens and stuff in Manchester United in January. How, how much signings are we going to get? I mean, how much signings do you think we're going to get in January? And who, who would you get? Because... There's some very, very interesting ones out there who who, who we could go for. I mean, up front, Mbappe could be good. Lewandowski could be good. I mean, you know, there's lots. There's lots of them. Benzema, would he work at Manchester United? Maybe he could. I think he's... I, I don't know. I think Benzema's a bit more Lukaku, to be honest with you. He's not that fast. He's right now. He's getting older, and you know, he he, he seems quite. He seems a bit lazy, in in my opinion. You, you know, there's Cavani out there. I, I don't believe Cavani's coming to Manchester United. We were limp with Neymar a few years, uh, a few years back with Van Gaal. I don't believe Neymar's coming to Manchester United. I don't think Cavani is either. Uh, but you know, we've been in reversal two years in a row now. There could be a mass. I think there's a massive chance that we're going to sign Mesut Turtle in January. I, I, I really do. Look, there is an absolutely massive chance of a signing him. So I, I think it's going to be an interesting one if we do go on and if we do sign Özil. But how would he do at Manchester United? If you look at Sanchez, he hasn't really made much of an impression. He might come back. He might do very well with Solskjaer when he comes back in January 2019. He, he he could be a very interesting player. He could play his heart up. You look, you never know. Or you know, if if Sanchez doesn't play well on the Solskjaer, I think you know we might as well say uh, because Solskjaer's the attacking. He's he's an attacking coach. Pogba seems happy. And Martial seems happier. The whole team seems happier. Rashford. The the whole team seems happier. You know, playing under Oli Solskjaer and not Jose Mourinho. So, you know, it, 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 if it's not that, then I, I, I don't have a clue what we're going to do. If you don't play well under Oli Solskjaer, I, I don't have a clue. We'll, we'll just have to sell him. But I, I, I think he'll be absolutely fine under him. And I think Solskjaer will be able to play him anywhere. Uh, I, I think what we just needed with Alexis Sanchez is attacking football. He's an attacking player. He got that at Arsenal. He didn't get. He doesn't. He didn't get it at Manchester United uh, with Jose Mourinho. Now we got Solskjaer. He's an attacking coach. There's there's a massive chance that we can get the proper Sanchez back. Now you know we'll just have to see with Özil. Özil's coming in. If Özil joins, he's going to be coming into a total different time. Um, instead of Alexis Sanchez, he's going to be coming in uh, with Oli Solskjaer as Manchester United manager, not Jose Mourinho. He's going to come in with an attacking manager as coach. So, you know, it is, it is not, it won't be that bad for him because I think he'll get on well with Solskjaer. I think anyone can get on well with Solskjaer. A anyone can get on with an attacking coach. I mean, defensive coaches aren't that good. If we, if we get Conte, that won't work. I mean, there's lots of people saying, H how about we go on and we get um, Solskjaer as Manchester United manager long term? You can't say anything yet. We beat Cardiff 5-1. I mean, you know, don't tell me it's just Cardiff. We beat them 5-1. But still, it's his first game at Manchester United. I'm not doubting that it's Cardiff, obviously, because the Mourinho would have beat them 5-1. He, he would not have beat them 5-1. If Mourinho was here, he probably would have beaten them about 2-0 or something. I thought I, I think we would have won if Jose Mourinho was Manchester United manager against Cardiff. But I don't think we would have absolutely thrashed them. I, I, I really don't. But, no, we thrashed, we thrashed Cardiff 5-1 under Oli Solskjaer. But it's a bit too early saying, Solskjaer in, Solskjaer out. So... You know, it, it's a bit too early. I mean, you know, I think you've got to back him no matter what. It's a bit too early making your choice because against Huddersfield on Boxing Day, it could go all wrong. You never know. It could go all wrong. So, you know, we need to be careful with our decision making. I don't think it will go all wrong. All wrong. I, I, I think we'll win. I really do think we will beat Huddersfield. But let's get one or two signings done. 
let's not sell any players because I think now they're going to be happy at United. Sanchez isn't going. Pogba's not going now. P Pogba seems happy. Look, look, look at what Pogba was like. I, I can't wait to see him against Huddersfield. If he plays well against Huddersfield, then that's the proper Pogba. That'd be good. It's not just that it's Cardiff. No, he, 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 he would have performed well anyway with Solskjaer. No matter what. If, if we get our team, if, if we get our whole team playing well as a team and everything, playing well as a player themselves, then we'll, then we'll get top four this season. We will definitely get top four and we won't struggle. Josie's made us struggle a lot. This season, but Mesut Ozil would be a good one to Manchester United. Uh, let's try and get a bit better out of Lingard. That could be a good one. Maybe some, or, or maybe you know, I think we could get a bit. I mean, you know, H Herrera played well in my opinion yesterday. The whole team played well at Manchester United. This whole Manchester United team played well, and I think they've got to have a lot of credit. Um, Solskjaer obviously praises them. Praises them. There's no one to blame. If we lose, which, you know, look, we will lose. Uh, I, 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 I believe we will lose later on in the season against tougher teams. I think we'll beat Huddersfield. We'll, we'll, be, we'll beat Newcastle or, or whoever we've got next. We will. No, wait, we got Bournemouth after uh, Huddersfield. So, you know, we'll beat Bournemouth at home as well. And then we got Newcastle, we'll beat them. So, you know, look, we can beat anyone right now. Uh, under early soul so I mean you know we got easy matches coming up then we got Reading then we got Tottenham which is going to be a tough one then we got Brighton on my birthday yay I could be going to that as well but you know yeah Mer Merry Christmas to early soul so he's came into Manchester United he he looks to have done his job well now let's see how it goes on Boxing Day for Manchester United let's hope that we do go on and that we do get something out of it so yeah let's go on let's beat Huddersfield it's it's gonna it's gonna be very interesting to see what's gonna happen in January. Is is Solskjaer gonna be given money? I think let let's give him money to spend in January. I think you know he's he's thinking plans. I think I think that's good from Solskjaer. He's getting good plans going, and you know he's he's always wanted to come into Manchester United and manage us. He he seems confident. That's what we want to see. Mourinho didn't really seem that confident. He, look, Mourinho is just negative. He put players down. Solskjaer doesn't do that. He said, I mean, you know, I heard him say yesterday, um, if, he, he, he said that we've got world-class players. He said we've got world-class players. He said, it, it's easy to play good football if, if you have good players. So, our players are good players. They're really good. So, Solskjaer said that. He, he came into the club, he totally changed them. So, you know, I'm really, really happy with what's going on right now in Manchester United. I mean, maybe if, if we do get top four, if, if we get third place, well, I'll hand him the job straight away. But can he, um, you know, do, do a whole season at Manchester United? If he can get us somewhere, he, he probably can. He, he's doing well at the moment, from what we see. 5-1, I think that gives us a lot of boost. I mean, especially, you know, the way he appears in his press conferences are good as well. So, you know, I think he just needs to keep the good work up at Manchester United. Let's give him money because, you know, I think, you know, we do need mo we do need to spend money. I think it would be good if we get another one or two players. I think that would be really, really good. Who will we get? It looks like Ozil could join Manchester United. Don't, 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 do not sell any players though. I don't think, I, I don't think we should. Uh, Milinkovic Savage, is, is he coming? Uh, uh, are we going to get interested in him? I, I don't think Solskjaer is going for, for Milinkovic Savage. I think Solskjaer is definitely still going for Ozil. But I, I don't think we're going to be in any more talks with Milinkovic Savage. Po Pochettino is uh, most likely to be Manchester United manager. I, I think... Uh, I think that could be a good one. I mean, you know, I, I've heard lots of people want Poch, and Pochettino is the favourite to be the next Manchester United manager. I, I, I don't blame you, but should we get Poch? Should we get Zidane, or should we keep Solskjaer? It's it's, it's going to be interesting. Let's give Solskjaer more time. We can't rush in. I mean, if, for example, if the ball's rushed in. Uh, because look, we beat Cardiff five one. If if the board what rushed in, and uh, you know suddenly gave Solskjaer the contract to stay, um, I think I I wouldn't be happy. 
I mean, I think Solskjaer would have turned it down. Because right now, I, I don't think Solskjaer thinks he is ready. I mean, you know, that's the kind of man Solskjaer is. He he knows. He he can actually say, I mean, if Jose was caretaker manager and, you know, he thrashed the team, uh, then 5-1, Jose, Jose would accept it straight away. That's the kind of person he is. I think Solskjaer knows what he's doing more. He's experienced about Manchester United. I think that's a good thing because when Mourinho came in, when Moyes came in, when Van Gaal came in, they weren't that experienced about the club. Solskjaer is. He played under Alex Ferguson, the best Manchester United manager that we've ever had. He, he's obviously going to be really experienced, especially he's a Manchester United legend as well. So he, he he's experienced about Manchester United. He knows what he's doing at this club. So... That, that, that's a good thing about having a uh, caretaker manager like Oli Solskjaer. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I, right now I'm happy with him as caretaker manager. There's no reason why he shouldn't be. You should not be Solskjaer out. How are you meant to be Solskjaer out after that? Back bloody Solskjaer. If you don't back Solskjaer, I don't have a clue what team you're supporting. Back Solskjaer because look what happened. He plays attacking football. We haven't thought that for years. You can't suddenly go up being negative. Because you think it's just not going to work. Attacking football, we know we're going to get it. It's been years ever since we got attacking football. So, and we got that with Oli Solskjaer. So why don't you back the guy? Back him. Um, spend some money in January. I'll, I'll be happy with that. He's going to spend money. I mean, you know, I, I was kind of 50-50. But he's, I, I, I've seen he's got plans to spend money. And, you know, there's lots of transfer rumours like Herzl to Manchester United. Uh, so, yeah, um, Sacco to Manchester United, that'd be an interesting one as well. So, you know, there's a lot of interesting ones that Solskjaer could go for. So, you know, there's players out there that Solskjaer wants. And, you know, I, I, I'm interested to see who he is going to go for. So, yeah, um... Yeah, please do drop a like on the video. Please do subscribe if you are new to the channel. Um, that that would be really good. So yeah, yeah. Please do subscribe. Please do drop a like. So yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's all for me for the transfer daily. I will see you all on Christmas Eve tomorrow for another Manchester United transfer daily, and I will see you for the preview tomorrow night as well. So uh, I'll see you probably midday tomorrow for uh, another one of these tran Christmas transfer. J dailies for Manchester United uh, so yeah uh, I'll, I'll speak to you all tomorrow it's going to be interesting so yeah speak to you soon come on United